Hello everyone, my name is Rohit and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a payment gateway system in your Next.js application. I will be using the ResurPay payment gateway which is I think one of the best payment gateway provider in the market. To keep it simple, I will make a test payment of 100 rupees and see how it goes. I will try to keep things as straightforward as possible. So without any further delay, let's get started. First we initialize our Next.js application. I am using the latest version of Next.js which is 14. The name of my project will be Payment. These are my default settings for Next.js app. I choose TypeScript and Tailwind CSS for this project among other configurations. You can choose the settings based on your preference and requirements. Now wait for a few seconds while the dependencies are being downloaded. Once the dependencies are installed, navigate to the newly created directory and open this project in your favorite code editor. Next install the ResurPay npm package using the command shown on the screen. Alright, you can see the dependencies and their versions I am using in this project. Now for the payment to work, we need to integrate our code with ResurPay. For security, we will store our ResurPay keys in the .env.local file. So create this .env.local file and add the keys. In place of these asterisks and hashtags, we need to fill in the actual keys. Go to the official ResurPay website. If you don't have an account, create one first. Then add your bank account details, enable two-factor authentication and complete any other necessary steps. I created my ResurPay account a long time ago, so I don't need to add that information again. After you log in, you will see your dashboard screen, which looks something like this. We are currently in test mode, as ResurPay provides both test mode and live mode. As the name suggests, if you want to test your payment integration code, you can choose the test mode. If you choose the live mode, you will need to verify your mobile app or website where you are integrating the payment gateway. This option is under account and settings, then websites and app settings, where you will see your API key. We will use the API key from the test mode, since my web URL is still in the verification process. Click on generate test key and you will see two keys, key id and key secret. We will use both of these in our project. Copy these keys and paste them into their respective places in the .env.local file. Alright, now it's time to write some code. First, we will write the code for the order id API of the product. To do this, create a file named raw.ts inside the create order folder, which is located inside the API folder. Here we import two things, next request and next response from Next.js and the ResurPay library. Next request and next response are used to handle HTTP requests and responses in Next.js. Next we set up our ResurPay instance. This block of code initializes ResurPay with your API key which are stored in the environment variables. Next we define an asynchronous function that handles POST request. Inside the try block, we use ResurPay.orders.create to create a new order. This function takes an object with some properties like amount, currency and receipt. If the order creation is successful, we return a JSON response with the order ID and a status code of 200. If there is an error, we catch it, log it to the console and return a JSON response with an error message and a status code of 500.
All right, now move to the page.js file. First erase the default code because on this screen we will write the code that will render the UI and handle payment. First we have some import statements. We import use state from react to manage state and a script from next.js to load the razor pay script. The declared global part is TypeScript specific and ensures that the razor pay object is recognized globally in our window object. Next we define a functional component called payment page. Inside we set a constant amount to INR100 and use the use state hook to create a state variable is processing which helps us manage the payment processing status. The handle payment function is an asynchronous function triggers when the user clicks the pay now button. Let's break it down step by step. We start by setting is processing to true to indicate that the payment is being processed. We then make a post request to our API endpoint API create order to create a new order. The response contains the order details including order ID. Next we define the options for the razor pay checkout including the key amount currency and more The handler function inside the options is called when the payment is successful. We then create a new razor pay instance and call the open method to display the razor pay checkout to the user. If any error occurs during the process, we catch it and log it to the console. Finally, we set is processing back to false once the process is complete. All right, now let's talk about rendering the component. First we have a wrapper div. The div centers the content on the screen and sets a nice light gray background color. Next we include a script tag to load the razor pay checkout script. This script is essential for razor pay's payment functionality. Inside the wrapper we have another div that acts as our payment container. This container is a style with padding, a white background, rounded corners and a shadow to give it a clean card appearance. Within the payment container we display a title using an h1 tag and the amount to be paid using a p tag. The title is styled to be bold and large and the amount is shown right below it. Finally we have the pay now button. This button triggers the handle payment function when clicked. We also use the disabled attribute to ensure the button is inactive while the payment is processing. If the payment is processing, the button text changes to processing. And that's how we render the component. 
Each part plays a crucial role in making our payment page look good and function well. Now let's see it all in action. I'm not very good at front end and the default theme of the Nexus app is dark. So I will switch it to the light mode to ensure everything is visible and I don't mess it up. All right, now go to the terminal and run this project using the command npm run dev. If you click on the pay now button, you will see the Razorpay payment template. Once you switch to live mode, you will see a lot of payment options like UPI and more, but in test mode it's limited to just 4 which is fine. I will click on the card option and fill in all the required input fields. The card number will be 4 followed by all ones. The expiry date can be any future date. The CVV number can be any 3 digit number. The OTP can be any 6 digit number. Ok, our payment is succeed and this is what we wanted right. Now check the Razorpay transactions, you will see the details of the recent transactions. The payment overview updates after a few hours. I have tested this a few times before, which is why you see a collected amount of 500 here. The recent transaction will be added here after a few hours. And there you have it, you have just integrated a payment gateway system into your Nexus application. Now your user can make payment easily. If you found this video helpful then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.